Hey, it's Dougie Wood. I'm an official Microsoft MVP, and that was an award given to me by Microsoft after working with SharePoint for the past 15 years. And now I have been building out all sorts of different SharePoint sites over the time, including what's referred to as extranets, which means that you can share information with people externally. In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you the three steps involved with creating an extranet where you can share information externally. So let's dive in and take a look. Now, this is actually a three step process. The first thing that we need to do is enable the sharing policy at the SharePoint admin center level, which means it can be applied to any SharePoint site. It's essentially setting the maximum um, access level that we would allow somewhere in SharePoint, but it's not necessarily applying it to any specific sites. Then we're going to create our site. So we're going to create our extranet SharePoint site. We're not going to look too much at the design and the functionality in this particular video, but we're essentially going to look at how we create it so that we can then use the third step, which is applying that sharing policy on top of our SharePoint site. So where do we go to create the sharing policy? Now, to do this, we need to navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center. You will need to either be a global administrator of your, of your Microsoft tenant or a SharePoint Admin role. Essentially, you should see this admin tile on the left-hand side when you go to office.com, which is a homepage on Microsoft 365. If you don't see the admin tile, then you probably don't have one of those roles, and you'd need to speak to your global administrator of your Microsoft tenancy. Quite often, that's your IT department. The next thing you're going to do is click on the show all tab to show all the different admin centers. You're then going to click on SharePoint to navigate to the SharePoint admin center. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on policies and then we're going to click on sharing. Now, this is essentially going to show us what level of external sharing we are going to allow. Now, we're not so interested in OneDrive in this case because we're looking at this from an extranet point of view, but quite often people start off with external sharing being enabled from OneDrive. But in this case, I'm going to look at SharePoint. Now, you can see I already have this maxed out because I already have my tenancy enabled for external sharing, but quite often what you'll find is that this might already be at the very bottom or maybe just set to this level here. Now, just to explain these four levels, these are essentially what we're saying is um, th this is what we would be our maximum that we would allow somewhere in SharePoint. So we have only people in our organization, which means there's no external access at all. So if you do not want any data leaving your Microsoft 365 tenancy, you would slam these right down to the bottom. and You'd have only people in your organization. The next level of access would be existing guests. So only guests who already exist inside of your organization's directory. New and existing guests, which means that guests must sign in or provide verification codes, um, or the very maximum, so the loosest of this, would be basically anonymous access using anyone. Uh, so users can share files and folders using links that don't require any form of sign-in. But this is complete anonymous access um, to your SharePoint or potentially OneDrive areas. So now we've got this enabled. That's step one complete. The second step in our three-step process is to go and create a SharePoint site. Now, I'm going to be going to create a communication site because this is going to be an extranet which I'm giving information, say, to example, maybe uh, suppliers or contractors or maybe even customers. So from our SharePoint admin center, all I would then need to do is click on active sites. And this is going to show all the different SharePoint sites that I have access to. I'm then going to click on the create button and this is going to bring me to um, a choice of either team sites or communication sites. As I say, because this is going to be almost like a publishing platform, it's somewhere that I'm going to be sharing information with external stakeholders and people who are interested in my organization. Uh, as I say, maybe they're customers, maybe they're partners or suppliers or contractors, people that I'm working with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to select communication site. Now, there's a whole host of different templates in here. And I do have a whole bunch of different videos all about SharePoint designs and different templates. So you can go and take a look at some of these. But I'm probably going to use, I um, don't know, maybe, maybe, but, 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 but what would make a good extranet kind of template? Um, 
I'm going to use the department template. I think that's going to be quite a good action at template because it's quite a lot of navigation sort of tiles, which is going to help people navigate to find key documents and things like that. Um, we can embed um, documents onto the ActionNet homepage. So as I say, maybe it's our policies and procedures. Maybe it's certain uh, forms we want people to fill out or have easy access to. Maybe some news um, roll-ups and things like that. So I'm just going to click on Use Template, and I'm going to call this ActionNet just to make sure it's really obvious about what it is. Um, now, you probably would have a actual scenario that you're using this for. So you might, for example, enable this and call it, say, supplier portal or customer portal or whatever it is that you have in mind that you're going to be using this for. Then specify the site owner. So in this case, it's just going to be me. And then I click on next. Um, I can specify the date and time, which in this case for me, uh, if you haven't guessed it yet from my accent, but um, my time zone would be Dublin, uh, London then click on create site. So this is then going to create me my SharePoint site. It's only going to take a couple of seconds to create. I say that, and it's the curse of the live demonstration. It's taken more than a couple of seconds to create, but it literally will just pop into life as soon as it's finished creating. So now it's finished creating, and you can see from the list of SharePoint sites, and I have Extranet listed down here. So I can click on that. That's going to jump me directly to uh, my Extranet site, which is using that department template that we we're looking at before. Now, of course, what I would probably typically want to do is update maybe the logo, the colors, make this into a little bit more of a kind of landing page. Um, so maybe I'll change the um, change the look. Maybe change the theme of it. Maybe use this sort of the neon black and green that we love. Um, and then there we go. So we've got now a bit of an extra net. We'll change the kind of uh, the logos, maybe change some of these tiles and things like that, just to make it essentially um, a, a little bit more bespoke and customized to the use case that we're looking at. But that's basically as good as we need. We've got now our kind of extra net created, and that was step two complete. Then finally, step three is essentially where we're going to be applying the policy over the top of um, our SharePoint site that we've created so we can enable it for external sharing. But before I show you that, I want to ask a quick favor. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. It's a free way that you can say thank you to me for all the videos that I create, and it will mean that you'll get notified about all the next upcoming SharePoint training videos that I create for you completely free on a weekly basis. So back to the video. The final stage then is applying our sharing policy over the top of our extranet. Now this would only be possible if we had uh, completed the first step. So if you get to this next step and you realize that you can't do it, it's because the first step potentially has gone uh, a bit wrong. Now, what we need to do is find our site. So in this case, it's our extranet in this list of active sites within the SharePoint Admin Center. Once selected, you'll notice there's a tab across the top which says sharing. Click on the sharing tab across the top. Now, as I said before, if you haven't done step one, the, there could be potential that these options up here are grayed out and you do not have access to them. Now, because we're making this a extranet, meaning we can share this externally to people without any form of authentication, we're going to select the anyone option. So users can share files and folders using sharing links that do not require any form of sign-in. Further down, there's a few other options. So we've got default sharing links. So we can make this same as our organization level settings, meaning anyone with a link. Um, or we can manually untick that and select some other options if we wanted to. We've got some advanced settings as well, so expiration um, of any anyone links. So we can choose if we wanted to that maybe links will expire after 30 days, for example. And we've got default link permission. So do we want it to make it so that it's automatically edit or potentially it's just view? Now I'm going to actually change this to view because for me, the content I'd be creating in this extranet is most likely just going to be read only. So it's just going to be viewing information. I don't necessarily expect that I want a two-way street. If you wanted people to be able to either delete things, edit things, upload things, 
or have that kind of collaborational backwards and forwards with you, of course, open up edit access. But in this scenario, I'm mostly just about having a platform where people can go to get information, collect it, download it, work with it, and maybe then submit it to me in a slightly different place. Maybe we've got another SharePoint site where we're actually working together, or maybe I expect them to email it to me or send it on Teams or whatever it is. In this case, it's just a publishing portal. So I'm going to click on save, and that's then going to apply my sharing settings to my SharePoint site. Now it says sharing settings updated successfully. However, I would give this a couple of hours. If it doesn't apply automatically, maybe by tomorrow, by the time you've gone home, gone to bed, got up, and then checked it again when you come back to work the next day, most likely it will definitely take an effect. It can take a few hours to take effect. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work straight away. Now, how to test this is either by going to try and share a document or even giving permission to somebody using the SharePoint permissions area. So you can either share a document or you can add the permissions. As a quick example, I'm just gonna show you by going back to my SharePoint site um, that I know that my external sharing is now available because when I click on site access, which brings up the permissions for this SharePoint site, if I was to then type in, this is just obviously a fake, um, uh, fake uh, user for example um but let's just say fake at outlook.com and then select that um you can now see it says fake at outlook.com isn't is outside of your organization so it knows an external user but it's still allowing me to go ahead and choose to add them into one of my security groups whether it's full control edit or to read access because i have the external sharing policy enabled if that wasn't working it would come up and basically say they're outside of your organization but your organization is blocking you from sharing any content externally to um, other outside users so we know that this has definitely worked following that three-step process if you're looking at building an extranet or need any professional help with SharePoint, we do offer consultancy um, and fully developed SharePoint sites. There's a link to contact me in the description below and on the bio section of my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give us a like. If you've got any questions, you can use the comments feed below um, or as I say, you can even book in a free one hour SharePoint consultation to discuss your SharePoint project with us using the link in the description below. Thank you.